The next step in my DIY voiceover audio booth construction project is the door. First, we use PL Premium Construction Caulk to attach a frame to the interior of the door. The 1x2s are just deep enough to accommodate the Roxel Comfort Board 80 insulation. While that's setting, I select two particularly nice looking burlap bags that will cover the inside of the door. After he uses a router to make grooves for the hinges, I use corner brackets to make a frame for the outside of the door. You'll notice I have the sweetest little helper. This exterior insulation frame extends beyond the top of the door and the side of the door where it latches. I used some thin wood scraps that I had from another project and glued them to the door and attached the insulation frame to this surface. This will help insulate the booth from sound that could sneak through the door frame. We install the door frame and he routes grooves for the hinges in that. Then I fill the frames with insulation. I recess some of the insulation to make way for the turning action of the doorknob. I reinforce this area with sound barrier since it's likely to get bumped more and I don't want the insulation around the doorknob to crumble over time. This gets covered with moving blanket. I'll decide what to do with the exterior of the door later. I sew my burlap bags together using twine and staple them to the interior of the door. Sound could still sneak through the hinged side of the door, so I build an insulated frame that will be mounted on the inside of the booth to cover that side of the door frame and the door jamb. Check out the blog post in the description to see the diagrams and materials list. Check out the next video to see how we made the diffusion panels and base traps. I set out to build a professional audio booth for voiceover recording. Before I charged my drill, I spent two years researching everything from the science behind audio waves to room treatments such as diffusion panels and base traps. While this is a how-to series of sorts, I am not responsible for any injury, destruction, or loss of any kind, including monetary, that you may incur while attempting anything inspired by what you see here. By continuing to read my vlog and watch the associated videos, you assume all responsibilities for your decisions and actions. I can say that we avoided serious injury despite clumsiness and extreme heavy construction materials. I am not an audio engineer nor a carpenter. I'm just a voiceover artist in pursuit of a quiet place to record audiobooks, content marketing video voiceovers, and voice tracks for radio and television advertisements. Hopefully, you can learn from my mistakes and make an even better booth than I do. If you do, let me know about it. When my design is inspired by someone else's design, I'll tell you, or make a note in the description. <laughs>